Throughout the ages, the shifting sands of the Sahara have engulfed towns, animals, and humans. The world's largest hot desert, it is likely that no one will ever find them again if they become lost in its vast sand plains. Whole armies were known to march across the ancient world and never be seen again. Only now, with contemporary technology, are we penetrating all of the mysteries of the Sahara, and there are many of them. Welcome back everyone, here are a few discoveries from the Sahara Desert. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. Lost Fortresses Satellites have allowed explorers to peer beneath the canopies of the densest jungles and pierce the heart of the most inhospitable deserts, without the bother of even leaving one's chair. In 2010, satellites detected the remains of more than 100 fortresses belonging to the Garamantes people of Libya. The area had been well mapped by the oil industry searching for places to drill, so archaeologists were able to scan their satellite pictures for the telltale signs of walls. Later, researchers on the ground confirmed that the Garamantes indeed built the structures. However, their expeditions were cut short by the revolution in Libya, which toppled Colonel Gaddafi. When the Garamantes flourished, their area was already incredibly arid. To farm their land, they constructed underground channels that provided water from ancient reservoirs. When this water source failed, the fields withered, and the Sahara covered over the remains of fortresses and villages. Nabta Stones Life will cling to an area of a desert where water may be found. There was a lake when people lived close to Nabta Playa in southern Egypt between 9,000 and 6,000 years ago. There, Neolithic tribes traveled to water and fed their animals. These people developed a culture of sacrifice in addition to surviving there. Ritual graves for cows, sheep, and goats have been discovered there. The inhabitants of Nabta constructed a circle of substantial stone blocks around 6,000 years ago, with additional rock slabs radiating outward. A mock-up of it is seen above. The earliest astronomically aligned structure is this stone circle, which is 1,000 years older than Stonehenge. The precise meaning of the circle is still up for debate, but according to one researcher, it corresponds to where Orion's belt would have appeared in the sky 6,000 years ago. Meteorites and Craters Rocks and meteorites from outer space have always pelted the Earth with their presence. Most of them harmlessly burn up in the atmosphere, leaving only a bright track in the sky. Others fall to the Earth and cause terrible damage. The craters left behind by such collisions are frequently disregarded due to erosion or plant growth because most occurred in the distant past. However, the scars can still be seen in desert areas. The iron meteorite strike location from roughly 5,000 years ago is still clearly visible in the 45-meter-wide, 148-foot, Camel Crater in southwest Egypt. However, it is possible to locate more than simply the craters caused by meteorites. The meteorite has been found in pieces in the Camel Crater, where the impact fractured and dispersed it across the dunes. This discovery is common. The Sahara has produced nearly one-fifth of all retrieved meteorites. This is because meteorites stand out on the dunes and are frequently ready to be picked up. There is nowhere better to go meteorite hunting than the Antarctic snows. Libyan Desert Glass Other signs of cosmic collisions can persist even after meteorites, and their craters have disappeared. A meteorite that struck Earth 29 million years ago had enough energy to melt a large portion of the Libyan desert into sheets of beautiful green glass. The explosion's crater hasn't been located yet, but lots of desert glass is still around, and in some surprising locations. When Howard Carter unlocked Tutankhamun's tomb, he found a jeweled pectoral that belonged to the deceased king among the valuables. A sacred scarab beetle made of green glass was at its core. There was an intriguing artifact produced from an alien substance, though it's doubtful the Egyptians knew where the glass they used came from. Iron from a meteorite was used to make one of the daggers in the tomb. Spinosaurus 
Spinosaurus is the largest carnivorous dinosaur ever unearthed, continuing the pattern of nautical discoveries made in a desert. Spinosaurus, which lived 95 million years ago, was larger than the more well-known T. rex, measuring 16 meters 52 feet long and about 7 meters 23 feet tall. The more well-known adversary, Spinosaurus, was different in how it appeared or lived. Spinosaurus had several adaptations that perplexed scientists, including a massive sail of bones that protruded from its back. Spinosaurus is currently regarded to be the only known completely semi-aquatic dinosaur. When another set of fossils was found in Morocco, scientists were truly able to study Spinosaurus because the original discovery's bones were destroyed during World War II. Long, flat feet for paddling and nostrils high on the snout that allow it to breathe even when mostly submerged are two characteristics that indicate Spinosaurus lived partially in the water. In the same way a shark's fin chills us today, the enormous sail on its back must have frightened ancient people who lived near waterways. Lost River The Sahara Desert has not always existed. As the temperature altered over millions of years, the bounds of the sands have varied. Just as scientists can hunt for ancient signs of water on Mars, so have they turned their attention to the history of the Sahara. Research has discovered that what would once have been the world's 12th largest drainage basin flowed from within the Sahara. The remains of the river in Mauritania were noticed when an undersea canyon off the coast was discovered that had been created by the river. River sediments also popped up in unexpected areas. The ultimate evidence of a vanished river was made by satellite. The Lost River is now called the Tamanrasset River, and study is continuing to find more about a body of water that may have dried up just 5,000 years ago. Whales Under the Sahara, more than just rivers have vanished. What was once an ocean has changed over time to become one of the driest places on Earth. There is evidence of the extinct Tethys Ocean in Egypt's Wadi al Hitan. It is one of the best places to find whale fossils, albeit unlikely, and it is known as Whale Valley. These fossils shed light on how whales changed from land-dwelling animals to living entirely at sea. 37 million years ago, when the forerunners of modern whales perished in the water, their bodies were covered in sediment. Their former home became land as the Earth's crust rose. Paleontologists are currently studying the 15-meter-long skeletons and the marine life they coexisted with. Large and dangerous shark teeth have also been discovered near the whale bones. Machimosaurus rex The seas have always been home to creatures. Some 120 million years ago, a 9-meter-long, 30-foot crocodile, the Machimosaurus rex, called what is now the Sahara Desert its home. M. rex is the largest ocean-dwelling crocodile known to have existed. The location where M. rex previously inhabited was possibly a large lagoon that stretched to the Tethys Ocean. There, it used its large head, amazing bite strength, and small, vicious teeth to crush the shells of ocean turtles and seize fish. It may also have scavenged on the carcasses of the huge beasts, which also shared its environment.